Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in 60 TP, tuning up with the once again. This is a 7201. This has got to be my favorite heavy tank map, just because this southern fight is such a unique brawl. Um, it's a like a wide open arena for heavies to be able to brawl, and it's I don't know, it's just my favorite area to fight with heavies. When the two teams collide down here, it comes out in some epic battles, as you'll see in the 60 TP. Well, 60 TP, uh, it's got E100 gun power packaged in what wants to be like an IS-7 playstyle. Bars like hull down, bad gun handling, crappy reload, strong turret. It's, it's kind of like now. To me, the biggest thing you want to do with your 60 TP is making sure that you don't overexpose your tank while. Reloading. There's really no point in looking it through your hull pretty reliably, uh, especially with prep rounds. This poor IS-7 came down to fight the good fight, but you can see his team all stayed behind the building safely. They didn't want to pull out and get into the big fight. They want to see if they can defend. So. Put them to the test, see what they can do. It's kind of waffle over here, I don't want to overexpose myself, but well, i to grab him after that. Which is better than the HE shell inside the head. And I am putting myself in a crossfire too far out here. I let him just know that I'm tucking. Fire. I think that's the same thing that shot me. However, I did get hit from the side at the same time, so I'm not sure. The side here. Alright, so now we're gonna do some side scraping. And which one wants it? The heavy tank pulls back, 54 pulls back, and allows me to get shot in the pad. The pad gets angry, drives around the corner, and my E4 shuts it down. Side scrape some more. And I really don't want to over angle because I'm. The sink's kind of clunky and slow, so if they decide to just pull around the corner and I'm at a bad angle, they're gonna just rely on that angle. Take my time. I think I missed my shot there. It's head ribbon. Muzzle flash, really. Alright. So here we got a Death Star coming. React to the map. Clobber him right in the head, take him off the map. Now we're starting to get short handed down here. So it went from an offensive position down to a defensive position. A chisel in the back, and they shot it to him. Now you can see I'm not too worried about side scraping, just because, you know, with the chisel and an AMX M454. Generally, don't have to worry too much about them. They don't have high alpha, and I got some things to trade with them. So. This is what I'm talking about. I overexposed myself when there was 
really no point in doing so because I didn't have shell chambered yet. Rather than killing the chisel, I decided to take the E4 more, more hit points. Both were kills. So just a nice brawl in the 60 TP. Throw it out 6300 damage, aced it, steel wall. Uh, man, this tank is awesome. Now it's it's kind of fickle, so don't think it's the greatest tier 10 in the game, but it's a good tank. That's all I got for you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.